It's so nice to get away from politics and enjoy a pro-military corporate worshiping gladiator match. And I'm here with my best friends, the man who picked a fight with the biggest, baddest reporter at NPR. Hey, hey. And my two lawyers banned from giving blood. We can give as much as we want. Yeah, they just have to burn it. Look, it's your big campaign ad. Shut up, Melania. It's on. Every night, I talk on the phone with John Voigt. Hello, America. Let me introduce myself because you will never meet me in person. I'm Michael Bloomberg, and I bought out Donald Trump's hair time. Oh, what the hell? He already had a heartbreaking Super Bowl ad. Eh, no big deal. I got off the void thing. This cost me $50 million, but no price is too high when it comes to buying this election. So that's basically how this whole thing's gonna go. I'm buying this election, and you can't stop me. There's nothing you people can do. I defy you to even try. Okay, wow, he's doing it for me. Okay, that's all I really got. Looks like we've got another 30 seconds to kill. Let's throw up some patriotic stuff. Looks nice. Yep. That says it all. I am not sure what this one is. No, next. We're not doing this one. Next. This is a tourist trap. What's on that guy's hands? Oh, yuck. He's right. That is yucky. So, good luck with your little football thing, everybody. I hope the Tigers beat the Lasers or whatever. Oh, another ad? I hate how much they've commercialized Pepsi Presents Football. Betrayal. Wrath. Vengeance. From the master of suspense, former national security advisor, John Bolton. <laughs> Hi there! Comes a twisted new tale of executive office intrigue. The Room Where It Happened. Available wherever and whenever it's most financially advantageous to John Bolton. Just remember, it seems exciting, but at the end of the day, it's still a book. And soon to be a major motion picture. Damn it!